Hey, it's Catherine from Hazella Bake Shop. In our last video, my sister-in-law, Leanna, taught us a special Dutch way to eat a stroopwafel. We've established that these cookies are delightful to eat, but how are they made and what gives them that perfect cookie to filling ratio? All of that and a bit more in today's video. Some people may wonder how a stroopwafel is made. It is a little bit of a complicated process. First, you mix the dough, which is sort of like a spiced shortbread cookie. Then, you simmer the butter, brown sugar, and a special European syrup together to create your caramel filling. After the dough has rested for 15 minutes, it is weighed out into individual cookies that are pressed down and ready to be cooked in a waffle iron for 30 seconds each. If you've ever had a strope waffle, which is literally translated syrup waffle, you'll know that part of what makes this cookie so special are the ultra-thin layers of cookie surrounding the caramel layer. This is achieved by cutting each waffle cookie in half, while the cookie is still piping hot, and spooning a layer of nearly boiling caramel between the two halves of the cookie. Lastly, you close the cookie back up and spin the caramel around inside the cookie to create an even spread and marry the layers together while it's still hot. It's an extremely time-sensitive and finger-sensitive operation and a lot of work, but it can also be a lot of fun. Since stroke waffle making is a process, we Dutch women find it better to do in groups. Most of the time, we will make stroke waffles around Christmas so we can give them away to our family and friends. It was pretty much a all day event because if you're gonna make stroke waffles, you're gonna make a lot of them. And during the process of making stroke waffles, you were talking and you were having a hazella tight. And tight is time, you're having a hazella time. Because you're making memories, you are bonding, you're deepening your relationship with your family and with your friends. And of course, when you make stroke waffles, they're not always perfect, and so you're going to test some of them. And that is also the fun of it, is you get to compete to making the best throw waffles and also eat the ones that didn't turn out so good. There was a lot of work, a lot of prep, a lot of making stroke waffles, lots of cleanup, but it was always erg gezellig. They were always erg lekker. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.